Okay, we're still talking about the fundamental theorem of calculus, which says that the integral from a to b of f of x dx is equal to g of b minus g of a, where this function g is the antiderivative of function f. And what I want to do, do now is show you some simple examples where the numbers are easy to see. And you can see that the area underneath function f is in fact another function that's given by the antiderivative of that function f. So we'll start off with a very simple example. This function, f of x equals 1. Hard to get much simpler than that, but let's graph it. So x will go from 0, let's just go 1, 2, 3, 4. Those are x values, and the value of the function is just going to be constant at 1. So that's x, and here's f of x, and the function will look something like this. Just a straight line at 1. So that's my function f. Now what we want to do is imagine starting at 0 and moving to the right, and as we go to the right, we enclose more and more area. So we imagine this little vertical line moving further and further along to the right and the area enclosed gradually increases as we go to the right. And we can graph this. The amount of area enclosed will itself be a function of x. So this graph down here will be a of x and let's plot the same x values down here. 1, 2, 3 and 4. And let's think, if we're going to the right, by the time, well right at the beginning, right when we start, the total area enclosed is 0. So I'll, I'll plot this point down there, 0, 0 on the graph. By the time we get to x equals 1, well you can see that the area enclosed right there is just this little square, which is 1 by 1, so it has an area of 1. So when we get to x equals 1, the area enclosed is 1. By the time we get over here to x equals 2, the total area enclosed at that point is 1 by 2, which is 2. So at 2, the area enclosed is 2. So I can plot the point 2 there. By the time I get over here to x equals 3, I've enclosed an area of 3. So I can plot that point. There's 3, and let's put that point on the graph. And then at 4, you can see that the area enclosed is 4, so that's pretty simple. We'll plot this point. I'll extend my a-axis up here just a little bit. And you can see the graph here. Let me try that again. Okay, now what function is this? This is a function of x, and that, functions, that function tells us how much total area has been accumulated under this graph as we go from 0 to the right, a certain amount x. And you can see that the area function here, the area under the graph, a of x, that's the function y equals x. So the area function is given by that. Okay, here's another example. Let's take this one, f of x equals 2. I'll do this one a little bit faster, because this one is just as easy as the one before. So let's imagine our x values increasing, and the y values go up to 2, and the f value of the function is just constant at x equals 2. And we're going to graph the area underneath function f as we go to the right through these points. 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So this is function f up here, and this is the area over here, a of x. And that will go up to 8. Okay, well at 0, when x is 0, we've accumulated no area, so we'll graph this point right down there, 0, 0. By the time x gets to 1, you can see the total area enclosed is 2. So I'll graph that point. By the time x gets to 2, the total area enclosed is now 4. So I'll graph the point 2, 4. And by the time we get to 3, you can see the area enclosed is 6. 
and by the time we get to 4, the area enclosed, you can see this rectangle is 4 by 2, so the area enclosed is 8. So we're up to there. Now this looks a lot like the other graph, the one we just did, but this one is steeper. You can see this is the line y equals 2x. This line has a slope of 2. So my area function, which is a function of x, is equal to 2x. Okay, next example. Watch this. Suppose f of x is equal to 50. The reasoning will be very similar here. Let's go from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. These are my x values. And this is function f. And it's just a constant function still at a value of 50. Well, if we go to the right, if we start here and we move to the right, as we move to the right, we enclose area under the graph. And when we get to 1, you can see the area of this rectangle has to be 50. So let's plot our area function here. This is the area accumulated under the graph of f as we go to the right. And at 1, we're going to be at 50. So I'll just mark 50 on my a axis here. This is a of x. And I'll plot the point 150. And you can see that by the time we get to 2, we've enclosed an area of 50 by 2, which is 100. So we need to mark 100 here and plot the point 2, 100. And at 3, we're at 150. And at 4, by the time x gets to 4, we will enclose a total area here of 200. So we mark the point 4, 200. And you can see this line, again, it looks very similar to the other ones, except this has a slope of 50. So the area as a function of x is equal to 50x. Okay, let's do another. In this case, f of x equals x. Still a simple graph, but this one's going to end up being a little bit different. Let's put our points here. And the graph f of x equals x just goes through the point 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, and 4, 4. And we need to graph the area underneath f. So here's our points, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Now this one will be a little bit different, but let's think this through in the same way. Okay, by the time, we, we start at 0, so we plot this point 0, 0. And by the time we get to x equals 1, we've enclosed this much area, this little rectangle, or excuse me, this little triangle right here. And you can see the area of the triangle is 1 half base height. That, that's going to be 1 half. I'm just going to make note of the values over here the area of 1 is going to be 1 half. So that won't be up very high on the axis here. Uh, at 2, by the time we get to 2 here, the area enclosed is this triangle. And the 1 half base height there is 1 half 2 times 2. And that's 1 half of 2 times 2 is half of 4. That's just 2. So at 2, we need to plot the point 2. So this is going to be 2 and 1 right there. And then by the time we get to 3 here, the total area enclosed right there is 1 half 3 times 3, or half of 9. So the area when x equals 3 is 4 and a half. So let's plot this that's 4, 6, and 8, then 4 and a half is going to be about right there. And then let's go into 4. Okay, the total area enclosed up to that point is the area under this triangle, or the area of this triangle, which is 1 half of 4 times 4. So the area of 4 is equal to 8. So we can plot the point 4, 8, and get a point right there. And look here, we get a parabola. And if you look at these point values given here, you can see that this parabola, the area under function x, is actually equal to x squared over 2. That's this curve.
Now I'm going to stop there, but I'm going to come back and make do, do one more example and make some important comments on all of this in the next video.